Thank you for getting Star on the phone. It's good to be reminded of what's important. Getting you home right now is the only thing that's important. John, Eli told me. Well, while you were investigating Aunt Melinda's death, that he needed to distract you. He's the one that pushed Marty down the stairs. I know. He was a sick son of a bitch who would do anything to protect himself. Langston, are you going to keep beating me up or are you going to listen to me? I'm really sorry about what I've done to you. Losing you, I haven't been able to get over it. Because you were the one. Langston, you're the only one that I want. I can't, I can't even flirt anymore. It just feels pointless. Because you're the only one that I want. You busted into Eli Clark's hotel room? You could have been killed. I know. Rex saved the day. Rex Balsam. All right. I know. <laughs> he was amazing, I'm telling you. Especially when he took his clothes off. Hey, I am more than my good looks, Marasco. And I would think you, a beautiful woman trying to make it in the working world, would appreciate that. Oh, I do, Balsam. And I'm sure Kelly hired you for more than just your six-pack. I am a damn good P.I. Yeah, with the cutest butt in the business. So tell me, when did Kelly present you with this extremely large check? Well, it was... You had left, she came back. Oh, I going to take a shower. I was. I mean, I did, only... Don't tell me she walked in on you again. It's not my fault she has good timing. Well, maybe she plans it that way. You ever think of that? Morasco, you're jealous. I was uh, looking for you in the ER. Well, I finished interviewing the perp, and I came up here to talk to Dr. Wright. Oh, Ooh, excuse me. Hi. I am Natalie Bates. Um, my boyfriend is stuck out of town, and I was I need to reschedule my sonogram. Oh, so he can be there, of course. And the father is John McBain? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember last time when I thought you were having a baby with Officer Lovett? <laughs> Clark, or whoever the hell he is, he can't hurt you anymore. Is that him? Hey, fellas, did you have to bring it through here? I'm sorry, sir. This is the only way we can get him to the ME. Okay. All right. Yeah. Wait. I want to see him. What are you doing here? I thought you were covering for me. I was going to call you, but I... everything's fine. Everything's fine. The paper's fine. I routed your calls to my cell. I... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about Taya. I was actually going to call you about my mom. Is she okay? She's fine, but, um... What happened? A lot. Eli's dead. You sure about this? I want to see if he's really gone. <laughs> Jealous? Me? Just because Kelly Kramer's rich and gorgeous? How do you mention it? She has a catch. Hmm. Well, it's too bad you're going steady. Although we could rethink that. I'm sure the frat boys would fill in fast. I thought you said they were babies. True, but LU is a really big place. I mean, I did see uh, Robert Ford at registration. He's every woman's dream. Is he still hitting on you? Not yet, but I could stop by the office and see if he wants to help me with my homework. After all, he is my type. Mm. What do you mean, your type? Well, he's a bad boy, like you. Excuse me, former bad boy. True. Hey, you know, if you want to hop on that train... You know what, darn, I missed my chance, because now that I'm a hot co-ed, he can't come anywhere near me. Yeah, like that would stop him. You bring out the worst in me, Ford. And I can't go back there. 
I won't. I don't want to go back there either. I, I want a whole new life with you. Just tell me, how can I prove to you that I've changed? You okay? Yeah, I'm just stunned. That's all. I'm so sorry. I, uh, I'm sorry about Blair. I, I, and I'm also sorry about Taya. I know how much you loved her, and you too. I know that you were close when you were little, and she was like a second mother to you. I still can't believe it. No, it's a lot to take in. Um, is there anything I can do for you at all? Why don't you wipe tomorrow's headline and go with, uh, the scum is dead. You got it. All right. Go. I think I'm gonna head out. Kelly, I'm so sorry. Um, you you didn't get to unload on Eli. Hey, that's what front pages are for, you know? I'm just worried about the baby. About you and the baby. Nothing I can do about it right now. That was awkward. Tell me about it. I hate lying to Jess. Yeah, well, I just had a lie to John on the phone. Is he still in Tahiti with Clark? Yeah, uh, they're waiting on confirmation that Clark is dead, so hopefully case closed. That's some good news. Wish we had some. The bottom line is you're having a baby with Jess, and that is what you have to focus on. Okay, this baby is John's. And if it isn't? Buddy, we've talked about this. This baby is John's no matter what. You've got to let this go. Please. For all of us. I'll let it go. For now. I'm sorry you had to see that. Look, I wanted to see it. God. His face was burned so badly it could have been anybody. Emmy sent this up. It's a bullet we retrieved from the body. It matched the gun? Yep. Definite. Okay. Ma'am, you're Mrs. Elijah Clark? Yeah, I am. We found these on the deceased. It wasn't about the girls. It was just a way to run away from you. But I'm not running anymore. I'll do whatever it takes. Just tell me what you need. Look, I know this isn't easy, putting yourself out there like this, and maybe I even believe you that you're ready to put the walls down and be a whole new person. But now, I've got walls of my own. So I'll wait. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, wait all you want, but I'm not dropping your class. For the record, I want to date with you every night, and I don't care if that means you reading a textbook and me flipping your pages. Oh, you can flip my pages anytime. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. This better be good. Eli Clark is dead. Upset about your mom? Yes, mom could have died. Eli has killed all of his other wives. No one puts anything over on your mom for very long. It's my fault, though. I didn't like Clark. Never from the beginning. I didn't tell your mom, you know, I didn't want to rain on her parade. I was happy. You know, she asked my opinion about him, and I told her to go for it. It's a 
afraid to get close to him. Because of Todd. He told me that I was the first woman that he ever wanted to even marry. And he won me over with a lie. I cheated her honor with him because I didn't want to appear. Controlling. Jealous. Stingy. And then she could have died because of me. He'd already been married twice. The first wife he killed, the second one disappeared. Oh, God only knows what it would have done to me. You know, he can't hurt you anymore. John, I'm, I'm worried about me. Here I thought I was marrying somebody who was so, so not like Todd. He was worse than Todd could ever be. Ever. Now I'm losing my touch. Hey, no, no you're not. Sit. I didn't like Clark. Not from the beginning, man. He's just so, uh, so perfect and everything. But a psycho? Damn. I missed it. You're not a you're not a trained psychiatrist or something. Okay, give yourself a break. I can't. I can't. He snowed me. And then there's Taya, who kept telling me she was dying, and I just refused to believe her. I didn't believe Kelly when she kept warning me about him. I didn't believe my own son. He kept calling Eli a murderer, and I just laughed at him. Yeah, well, I Jack's a funny kid. Yeah, I guess. But he was right. So were you. I'm so sorry, John. You tried to warn me, and I didn't listen. I'm really sorry. You don't have anything to be sorry about. There are a lot of things to be sorry about. I fell in love with a man who killed your baby. How could I be so blind? John's waiting on the body, and he's bringing Blair home. I wonder if Kelly knows. Oh, what do you know? You can ask her yourself. What was that? It's a long story. So, how's the baby? Um, having my first sonogram tomorrow. And John's coming. And? And, you know, he's really good at what he does, and I just keep thinking that he is going to... <sighs> he's going to figure it out. Okay, John is good, but do you think he's so good that he'll really guess that the baby isn't his and that it could be Brody's? I mean, that's kind of a leap, don't you think? God, I hope so. Hey. How are you doing? Um, okay. Hmm? Yeah, I'm just, um pregnant, but <laughs> I've been there before. Well, I haven't, and it's a really big deal for me. Oh, of course it is for me, too. I didn't mean to say that it wasn't. I just... I have a lot on my mind. How is everyone? Not good. I'd let Taya leave, thinking that son of a bitch could, to, could follow her. Son of a bitch. It's Loses her, and then I finally strong arm Sean into telling me where she is, and I take Danny down there for nothing. It's too late. There's still a way to say goodbye, Dad. And I know how. I'm just waiting for my mother. She's upstairs with uh, with Danny. I need to ask you something. I talked to Dr. Wright earlier. Why does she think you need that RH treatment? I mean, didn't you tell her that, that we're compatible, that I'm the father and you don't need it? 